Okay, this deck was installed after the fact. And I say that because it appears to have been installed after the fact. Uh, a couple things lead me to this assumption. One, the neighbors don't have a deck. Two, the construction of this deck is unconventional. So those things lead me to believe that this was after the fact. Okay? Uh, these handrails are too too short. They got wood to ground contact. These handrails are not graspable. This guardrail is too short. Then we got wood to ground contact, wood to ground contact. And we took this wood all the way across the all the way across here. And it's open, we got some ventilation, but it's still wood to ground contact. Got a little mouse skeleton. All those chicken legs, wood to ground, wood to ground, wood to ground, wood to ground. You can see what it's doing right in there. Okay, it's sucking it up. Capillary action. This is a cellulose material. It's starting to rot, starting to rot, starting to rot. Then, parts of this deck have not been stained. And then, Other parts of this deck have been painted. Appears to be paint to me. See, the problem with paint is it it doesn't let the deck breathe, okay? Because this is cellulose material, so it doesn't let the deck dry out like it would. Well, we've got some pretty good gaps, but the paint prohibits it from drying like it would the material. This should have been stained, that should have been stained. Over there where you don't have any stain should have been stained. We should have flashing around here. We got just a little bit of flashing right there. And then just kind of wash your toes. But no, the, the wall flashing. So this has covered up our weep holes because brick is porous.